What's up you guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to teach you how to set up your RPA5 two channel power amplifier. Now this video is also going to apply for our RPA9 amplifier. This is perfect for powering any passive speakers for live performances, DJ events, and much more. Now the RPA5 is 2U rack mountable, meaning you can set it up to any rack mount or rack bag by screwing it in at all four corners. So now let me grab a couple of passive speakers and a passive mixer to show you what a live sound setup would look like while using the amp. All right, so here I have my passive speakers and passive mixer that I'm going to connect to my power amp. Now, first things first, to connect my mixer to my power amp, I'm going to need two XLR cables. I'm going to take the female ends of my XLR cables and plug them into the main left and right outputs on my mixer. Then I'm gonna take the other end and plug them into the channel A and B XLR inputs on the back of the power amp. Since the inputs on the RPA5 are actually combo jacks, we can also use quarter inch cables to connect the mixer to the amp. So now with the mixer going into the power amp, I'm able to manipulate the sound with the mixer that's coming out of the speakers. Now to hear anything coming out of the mixer through the speakers, I'm going to need two speak on cables. I'll take one end of each cable and plug them into the channel A and channel B speak on outputs on the back of the power amp. Then I'll take the other ends and plug them into the speak on inputs on the back of the speakers. So now before we turn anything on, let's make sure that the master volumes on the mixer and the amp are turned all the way down to avoid any unwanted noise or feedback. So now we can go ahead and turn on our mixer. Then we can go ahead and turn on the power amp. So now to test out the whole system, I'm going to plug my microphone into my mixer. I'll just plug my microphone into any of the channels on my mixer. Today I'll use channel one. Now to get the level coming through the mixer to the amp, I'm going to raise my main left and right faders here. Now I can go ahead and raise the volume knobs for each channel on my power amp. So now if I go ahead and turn on my microphone, you should hear my voice coming out of both speakers. Now again, this is a great setup for live performances or DJ events since we can use all of the features of the mixer through our power amp and through our speakers. So now if we look at the front of the power amp here, you'll notice that each channel has these LED indicator lights. The power light will tell you that the amp is powered on. The signal light will tell you that the amp is receiving signal from any source like a mixer. The clip light will tell you that the amp has reached its peak volume and starts to distort the speakers. And the fault light here will actually tell you if there's something wrong with the amp. So if we look under the channel A and channel B inputs here on the back of the RPA. You'll also notice the link out XLR outputs that we can use to send the signal forward to a powered speaker like a subwoofer or even to another power amp. We also have an RCA input for channel A and channel B on the back of the RPA as well. So you can also connect a mixer to an amp by using RCA connection. Now in between the channel A and channel B speak on outputs, you'll notice the speak on bridge output. We can also use this output to send signal to high powered speakers. We would just wanna make sure to flip this switch here on the back from stereo to bridge. But the stereo mode is what we want to use if we're just using the two channel system for two speakers like these. Now underneath that switch, you'll notice this button here that switches the frequency response from a full range to a low pass filter. Now if we activate this button, only the low end frequencies will come out of the amp through the speakers. Now we can also connect passive speakers through positive and negative wire connection by using the terminals on the back of the RPA5. To do this, you'll want to unscrew the positive and negative terminals terminals for channel A and channel B on the back of the amp. Then you'll want to feed the positive wires to the positive terminals and the negative wires to the negative terminals. After that, we can tighten the terminals back up to lock the wires into place. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RPA5 two-channel power amplifier. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.